So as we all know, phase three of the OTA process began yesterday, right? Where teams can uh, start doing seven on seven drills, 11 on 11. You know, it's not full contact. It's not like pads and tackling and stuff like that. Uh, but it is super, super important to help further install the offense, just get a deeper dive in that realm, uh, and also simulate offensive plays going up against an actual defense as opposed to, you know, just throwing on air. So I got to be honest, when uh, the news came out that today was the first day uh, that the OTA was allowed or uh, the, uh, you know, not, not necessarily the public, but, you know, media members were allowed to step in and, you know, view this practice and, you know, tweet out pictures and tweet out, uh, just report on different things. I was ecstatic. I'm like, let's go. This is like with training camp, right? I was pumped up. I woke up extra pep in my step, woke up super early, got all my stuff ready. I'm like, let's go. I'm going to do this OTA recap. Guys warm up, they're tweeting Aaron Rodgers and, and this and that, like, you know, him in the jet uniform or in the jet practice uniform. Everybody warms up. And then I see this tweet from Diana Rossini. And I got to be honest, when I saw it, my stomach hit the floor. Not even a single rep into the practice. She tweets Aaron Rodgers off to the side, favoring his ankle, checking it. Something is clearly not right with a picture of A-Rod next to the, it looks like the uh, trainer. And then she follows it up with a tweet that says, Rogers looks to be trying to put some weight on it while watching the practice to the side. He's standing with the team's head strength and conditioning coach. So in somewhat of a panic, I go, I check other reporters, like what are they saying on the situation? Is it even a topic? What's going on? Connor Hughes says Aaron Rodgers walked slowly over to where the other quarterbacks are. No helmet, not a bad limp, but looked to be favoring the side. He's not working, standing back by uh, quarterbacks, individual drills, watching with coaches. Brian Costello said Aaron Rodgers warmed up, but is now off to the side as quarterbacks do drills. And then Zach Rosenblatt of The Athletic uh, came out and said that Rodgers returned to the practice field, but without a helmet, he might be done for the day. And then Samini pretty much just confirmed the same thing. And then it came out like two minutes later that Rodgers is done. He's not going. He's not going to be practicing for the day. And, you know, on one hand, it's smart. Look, if Rodgers tweaks something, if he isn't feeling 100%, do not, I repeat, do not play him. This is a voluntary OTA. So, look, if something does not feel right, if he warmed up and was just like, ah, little weird here, I'm not liking how I'm feeling, it's not feeling good, take the practice off, throw your hands up, you're done. That's, that's my... Uh, <laughs> that's my perspective. Do not risk a, do not risk anything. Do not risk a single thing here. So, um, hopefully we get some sort of update afterwards. I know Salah spoke to the media beforehand. Um, so, you know, I'm hoping we get some sort of update and it doesn't just go by the wayside and that's kind of it. I'm assuming we do, you know, we will get one. Uh, but up until that point, we just don't really know. The good news, it's not like Rodgers had to be carted off. It's not like Rodgers had to hit the locker room, take everything off, and then just, you know, go meet with doctors immediately or anything like that. Like, he's returning to practice. He's hanging out watching the other quarterbacks. He's still, like, out there. He's just not actually participating in them. So, uh, unfortunate, but, and also unfortunate, we don't really know what's going on here, but, hey, if it's just a small tweak... Uh, which it seems like what that that's kind of what people are alluding to here. Uh, it is what it is. Hold them out of practice. You're done. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I really, really do. It means the world. And as always, go Jets.